encouraged to also be able to add on. We are giving you only two. But you need more than two to be able to make a lot of impact globally. Julius Nyerere will say that if the future is without science and technology, then there is no future at all. If the future is without science and technology, what it means is that you are the future of our generation. And if you don't have science and you don't have technology, then you can't apply it practically. It doesn't matter what you want to become. Some of you will become priests, others will not. But even for those who become priests, you must be technology conscious. Correct or perfect? You must be technology conscious, even as a priest. And Proba will say that indeed, if science is not transforming lives, then there is no so for this, all I want to end on is that this occurrence today, the 19th of June, 2025, in the year of our Lord, let us register something in our hearts that I have a charge to keep. I have a mandate, and the mandate is to transform the world. And I will do everything that is necessary to ensure that I write in the corner where I belong. I'm Latte Prince William. We are the St. Hubert Robotics team. We made this amazing project to solve traffic problems and reduce accidents in our society. It consists of the Arduino, Uno board and other sensors. So um, what this basically does is that if a pedestrian wants to cross the road, we have a stable mode, um, an ultrasonic sensor. It's going to detect the presence of the person and to quickly put this barrier down so that no car can um, cross again. So as the pedestrian crosses the road and it doesn't detect anybody there again, it's going to raise the barrier up so that cars can cross and go where they are. We made this out of the STEM 8 kit, which has limited materials, tools and materials. But with this one, it has a lot of materials, so we are very excited for um, being, being given this one, we know that, of course, we will be able to make a lot of projects with this one. I'm Ajay Emmanuel, a mentor at Ola Girls Senior High. With the introduction of Ray and Robotics in our school, it has helped our guests to get hands-on activities that have propelled us forward in achieving the overall score, which earned us the position of being the first school to win the regional uh, energy challenge. With the use of Arduino Boss and SK, we were able to design a project called the Habibi Project. That's about using renewable energy to promote the production of rice in Ghana. My name is Ishmael. I'm from Akka. I am one of the 12 mentors for our Ray Robotic Club in Smania Senior High School. And we launched our club not too long ago, and uh, the numbers that we used to start was 23. We have maximum support from our school management, which I believe they deserve a very, very big mention because without them, our meetings and everything wouldn't, wouldn't have come to fruition. And uh, out of these 23 students that we started with, about 20 of them are girls and just about three are boys. We know that going forward, the number will shoot up and we'll get some sort of a balance with it. Like I told you, we just started our club not too long ago. I can, I can, I can promise you that expect bigger initiatives bigger mind-boggling uh, innovation that we are coming on board to solve most of the problems of society. That I can assure you. Thank you. My name is Bisma Pousu, one of the mentors of the Fako Biampim Girls Senior High School. As, a, as we introduced the Real Waters Club in our school, we've been able to get as much as 44 girls to be members of the club. We started our initiatives by incorporating Arduino in most of the projects we've been doing. Currently, we've not been bringing the projects out, but the projects are in the faces. We are currently working on a lot of things, which at the right time we will try to bring them out for everybody to know what we are doing. Since uh, we introduced the club, we were having a bit of challenge getting some of the kids to work with. But now that we have some kids to work with, we believe that we'll be able to utilize the uh, kids that have been given us to the maximum capacity that we can use it for. Thank you. My name is Isaac Kofi Gojo, a member of the Royal Robotic Club, the Kids Senior High School. I a great honor to be here this morning to receive these items. In fact, since, since the inception of this club in my school, we have seen 
a great improvement compared to the years, over the years that we only resort to only practical uh, theoretical lessons in the labs. But I'm assuring you that with these items that we have gotten, although it's not enough, we're going to make use of them. Then we're going to, our students will be very happy seeing some of these things here. Then moving forward, we want to ask, because some of these things need to be kept at places. We don't have a world lab, so we'll request for more. Then we want this club to provide some lab facilities for us to keep all those things and other equipment as well. Uh, once again, we are much grateful to the Royal Robotic Club Tech for this wonderful guest star in shaping the lives of our younger ones way back in the secondary school. Thank you very much. Oh,